My name is Samer Hassan. I'm 28 years old and I currently have $22,000 in student debt. By the time I graduate university, that will be $80,000. This is going to turn into an $800 bill every month. That's a car note. That's a home mortgage. That's, that's child care. Hi, my name is Michael. I'm 27. I live in New York and I'm a public servant. I'm about $134,000 in debt. I think about it pretty much any time I spend money. I, I have a lot of anxiety around spending money because every time I do, I know that I have this like sort of insurmountable debt that I have to pay back. Hi, my name is Ali Truitt. I have around $56,000 in student loan debt. Um, most of it is private. My private student loans, however, I've struggled with for years. Uh, when I lost my job, when the recession hit, I asked for help. I asked if there was any way I could lower my monthly payments. The only thing they offered me was deferment with a lifetime maximum of nine months. Hi, my name is Kylan. I am 23 years old and I currently owe $90,000 in student loans. If I decide to get a car, if I decide to own a home, these student loans are a part of my credit score and a part of my identity for the rest of my life. Hi, my name is Elizabeth and as of today I owe $108,137.48 in student loans. It prevents me from a lot of things, uh, getting a dog, buying a house, and right now it is making it extremely hard for me to change careers. This has so negatively affected my credit that I'm unable to buy a home for my family um, and unable to find an affordable car payments, anything. I can't get a decent loan. I can't get a decent credit card. Um, I was turned down for rentals recently. Student loans and the interest rates that come with them are basically predatory because you really don't have any other choice. It's either that very large interest rate or you can't go to school. This student loan crisis is getting out of control and the way it's taking advantage of people and crippling my generation is unfair and things need to change.